Hello YouTube, it is Devin here with Taylor Times 2. You probably noticed something right now, right? Let's just listen. It's quiet. Kids are at school. Uh, Dad took them this morning. For many of you who follow me, you don't know, but I used to be a police officer and I also used to be in the Marines, in the reserves. Um, nevertheless, my body has been through a lot physically, and subsequently I suffer from back problems. So from time to time, my back will go out. That's what I call it. Um, you know, technically that's not accurate, but that's, you know, what it's known as. My back will go out, and I am walking humped over like an old lady. Um, hard to do much of anything, but I'm a mom, right? And so I have to keep pressing on. But this morning, my husband jumped in there and helped me. He took the boys to school. I have to go pick them up in a little while. Um, so I've been at home doing what I do best on day two or three, which is applying heat and one of my favorite essential oils for my back pain. It's marjoram. Oh, hold on. There we, uh, there, there, there we go. Marjoram. That's how I say it. So I apply this oil directly to my lower back area. Um, sometimes I'll use like my unscented lotion. Sometimes I just like put my finger over the top of the bottle and kind of do like that and then just apply what's on my fingers. Uh, I don't have any skin irritation from it. I'm pretty used to it by now. And then I will sit with the heating pad on for a few minutes and the heat kind of drives the oil deeper um, into your skin to help get to the root of the problem. So this oil has been a life changer for me. So I do like it and it does help me recover much faster. And when I say much faster, it's typically maybe two days sooner, two or three days sooner than what my normal recovery looks like. Um, I'm usually out about a week. So, um, I'm hoping to avoid surgery, but I've done physical therapy in the past and yoga and everything else I know to do to help prevent. And the problem has just persisted over the last few months. It, it's gotten worse where it's more frequent and it's not necessarily the pain that puts me out because I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. Um, side note, I gave natural birth twice, you know, to both of my sons, no medication. Um, so it's not really the pain that just puts me out. It's the side effect of the pain, which is my inability to move and to do what I need to do as a mom and as a wife and just as a person <laughs> in general, like walking, you know, sleeping. Um, those are the things that just really, really get to me. So, um, I was supposed to vlog yesterday, but I didn't get a chance. It's just hard enough to maneuver, you know, so I didn't really get a chance to vlog. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is show you a recipe. We love recipes, right? We love low carb, healthy, um, you know, recipes that are gluten free and have other good yummy ways to sneak veggies in. So I'm going to show you a video today that I recorded a couple of days ago before my back went out. And it's me making one of my favorite breakfast recipes. Oh wait, before I go to that, I called the doctor and I got in for Thursday. So I'll be going to the doctor in a couple of days. They're going to fit me in because I'm having issues right now. So that's really great news. Wish me luck and I'll definitely give you an update. Now fast forward. All right, low carb sausage biscuits is this recipe. I got it from a website called Traveling Low Carb. Lynn Terry, she's like the low carb guru. She has this whole low carb group on Facebook as well. So if you're interested in finding good recipes and support through your low carb journey and weight loss, that's a great, great group to find inspiration. They share recipes, they encourage each other, they share before and after photos. It's an awesome, awesome group that I am a part of, but I'm not that active in it anymore unless I find like a great recipe and I just have to share it. But one of the recipes is her low carb sausage biscuits. They have been um, revised since the very first time she posted. 
I make them the way she originally posted them um, with a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, the shredded Parmesan cheese, and half a cup of like whatever, like Colby Jack shred. I use um, the Mexican blend shred, whatever shred I have on hand. I've even used cheddar. This recipe has a great base, so you can really work with it to make it what you like it to be. I add spinach in mine so I can sneak veggies in. It's almost a four for four win in my house with um, Troy, Michael, and myself. We love them. Evan doesn't like them, but it's okay. I still make them and it's a total win. They have, uh, they're great reheated just in the microwave. I put them in Troy's lunchbox and he enjoys them for lunch. Um, they're great the next day. My husband will eat them the next day for breakfast. Very good for you. Low carb almond flour base. So I'm going to let you see this recipe. Guys, I will be back vlogging and posting another vlog. Hopefully by the end of the week. If not next week, I definitely will be back with a vlog. But um, enjoy the recipe. If you have any questions or comments about it or any ideas or ways that you see that you can tweak the recipe, put it below so we can, you know, share and help each other out. I've also made like a pizza version of it with all mozzarella and like pepperoni and Italian sausage. That was really good. And then I just dipped it like in marinara. So um, that's what it is. I'm sitting here on the sofa right now. Got my heating pad going with my oil. And hopefully I'll be feeling better soon and back on my feet. Until then, enjoy this video. Make the recipe. Let me know how you like it. And I will see you guys soon. Thumbs up my recipe, guys, and subscribe to my channel. Later. Starting with a tablespoon of butter, melt that in the microwave. And to that butter, I add my half a cup of almond flour. And I use Bob's Red Mill, as I have stated in another video. And then I just mix that up, get the almond flour moist with the butter. And from there, I add my two large eggs. So I mix those eggs in with the almond flour and the butter really good. And then I add my sausage, which is half of a roll. Mix, mix, mix. And then my cheese, half a cup of my Mexican blend and half a cup of shredded Parmesan. And I mix, mix, mix some more. Next and lastly, I add my spinach. I don't do a lot of spinach, just enough to add some veggies. And I use an ice cream scooper to put my patties onto my parchment paper. Not wax, but parchment paper, so they don't stick. So it's very important to have some parchment paper. And I can usually get between eight or nine biscuits. I used a little bit more than half a roll of sausage, so my um, biscuits are a little bigger this time around. Next, you want to pop them in the oven, 350 degrees, and after 10 minutes, you take them out of the oven and you flip them. Stick them back in for 10 more minutes take them out and they are all done. I like to put mine on a wire rack that's lined with paper towels to absorb the grease. And as you can see, it can get a little greasy because you're dealing with sausage and also cheese, which has its own grease as well. So that's why I like to turn mine out onto paper towel. And I use sugar-free strawberry jam and cream cheese to top mine off. It's kind of like the moose tracks effect. Turns out very yummy.